Hello, I'm here to invite you in a course in RoboStructure Analysis that is the design of a concrete building in RoboStructure Analysis. Now, we are going to, you know, work in Revit and also RoboStructure Analysis. The model that we are working on, we are going to start, you know, the modeling of it in Revit structure and now export, you know, the model to RoboStructure Analysis. That is the first part of the lesson. The second part is that, again, we'll start the same model in RoboStructure Analysis because I'm aware that there are those who are not using RoboStructure Analysis for modeling. So, again, we'll start the same model in RoboStructure Analysis, model it, and then start, you know, the application of the laws, you know, load combinations and everything, including the design and also detailing within robot structure analysis. In this course, we ensure that we don't skip anything. We explain step by step on all the tools that you need for you to design a structure in robot structure analysis and to focus on the concrete building. We are going to place the loads. We are going to create, you know, the load types, the load definitions, the load combinations, and do the analysis in robot structure analysis. I'll show you how you are supposed to configure the codes. There are different types of codes in robot structure analysis, and wherever you are in any part of the world, you are going to find the code that you want, and I'll show you where to find such kind of codes. I'll show you the tips and tricks that you're supposed to follow in robot structure analysis so that when you start the analysis of your model, you do not experience any errors. And I'll also show you how you can fix such kind of errors as they come along. But most importantly, we should be able to avoid the errors even before we do the analysis. After the analysis of the model, I'll show you now how you can start, you know, designing your members. We are going to design the foundations. We are going to design the beams, the columns, you know, the floors, and that will be done within robot structure analysis. The design module for robot structure analysis when it comes to designing of the structural elements is so powerful. You are able to set all those parameters and everything that you want to use as you design your members and simply apply it on the other members. And you see that as you start designing, you just be clicking and all those members will be designed according. I'll show you the configurations and the settings that you need to counter check as you keep on designing so that you ensure that your design, you know, is stable and is able to carry the loads that is expected to carry during its design life. After the analysis of the model, I'll also show you how you are supposed now to counter check, you know, the analysis results, that is the bending moments, the shear, the deflections and everything, and how you can, you know, filter such kind of information that you want within robot structural analysis so that you can present it the way you want to be. I'll show you how you can use the tables in robot structural analysis. Tables are very, very useful in robot structural analysis to present the information, the design results in robot structural analysis the way you want it to be. Finally, after design of all the members in robot structure analysis, according to the code of your choice, because this course is not code specific, anyone can use it in any part of the world. After the design, I'll show you on how you can place, you know, the views on your sheets within robot structure analysis. But as you are aware, robot structure analysis is a design software, but you are still able to produce those details which can be used maybe by detailers now to produce more detailed drawings. I'll show you on how to do that. So if you want to be competent in the design of concrete buildings in robot structure analysis, then join me in this course. See you there.